Hi everybody, thank you for coming to my channel. This is Wendy with Wendy's Paper Junk. And I have something fun for you guys to try. I am calling it a journal chain or connect the journals. <laughs> okay, so I have my first one, my prototype and the one I've been working on. And I'm hoping you guys are gonna love this because I would, I'm having a blast with this. Okay, so let me show you my prototype first. Okay, so here is my journal. There's three signatures, okay? And if you notice, they're connected. All right. And let me tell you a little funny tip, uh, a little funny thing. These are all envelopes. I'll get to that. Okay, so the fun thing is about this is that here's the three. So let's say I just want to work on uh, this top one okay well or i should say yeah this top uh journal i just slide it off because there's a pocket on the back so i just work on this signature and then when i'm done i can slide it back on or maybe i want to work on this middle one i will slide it off i have three signatures that i can take apart work on it and slide back and the fun thing about this is, okay, so here is uh, the back of, okay, so don't get ahead of myself, Wendy. Okay, so when you do these, you have to kind of figure out what you want your front of your journal to be, like the cover of your journal. Um, so this is going to be the cover of my journal because this is the front, okay? So, of course, I put the uh, pocket on the back. So here's my next journal. It just slides, I'm gonna say, it. the cover slides right in, okay? And it holds it in place because of the width and how it's situated in the back. I'll show you guys how I did this. So, and then there's that one. And then the next one, same deal. Oh, I have it upside down. Same deal. You could, and it depending on how you wanna do, you know, how you wanna connect them. If you want to, you know, put your, put your pockets on, you know, each side. So this one I connect and it goes right in there like that. Okay. Now say I want to add another one. I just put a pocket here or I put it on the other one and then slide this one on. So you could just keep adding to them. Okay. So here is, um, kind of the thing. Now, you can decorate the front cover as much as you want. You can go to overblown, okay? Where the second one meets, you can't really do a lot on it. I mean, you can put, you know, flat, but it's got to fit in here, you know? So having 3D elements, that's not going to work, okay? So you can do flat and then, you know, as long as it fits it in here, all right? Now, here's another thing. You won't be able to put a lot of pockets on the inside front cover of the of the center journals, okay? So like this, because like I said, it's got to fit on this slide. But the back cover, okay, however I had this, I think I have them put together differently. Um, the back cover... You cover it. I'll have to show you with the other one. I'm getting all confused how I have them all connected. But each one is a, um, each one has a cover that you can decorate. So let me see. How did I have this? Oh, I had it like this. Okay, so here's my first one. And I had this one in. I'm going to get them back in there. Okay. So this way, all right, so this is the back cover of the first journal, okay, which I still have to cover and I can put pockets on and you can fill this one up. Now the second one, okay, the cover, the front cover, you can't really build a lot on it, but if you keep it flat, as long as it fits through here, it's fine. Now the back cover of this one, okay, can be covered and you put a bunch of pockets on and everything um, because the pocket is on this side. So 
this one will slide in here. All right, so this that center back cover you could you know decorate and fill up with pockets. Okay, same goes with the you know you could keep going. I can't tell you how cool this is. They stay in place. They don't fall out. Um, and I did all envelopes and I'll get to that so let me show you the one I was working on so because I was I wanted to give you guys kind of an idea of this one is made of all different size envelopes okay now you don't have to use envelopes you can use paper too so okay so this is the one we're going to be working on but I'm going to put this to the side and show you this is three signatures okay they're connected now I'll slide one off. I'll slide them all off so you can see. All right. So this is what I'm working on. This is my the front of my journal. And I have a, I've been decorating in it. I have a pocket. I had a big old pocket here. And I used all envelopes. Okay, just so you know, they're all, these are all envelopes. So here is a pocket here. There's a writing spot. This is a, isn't this a cute little file folder? I haven't put anything in it yet. I was just, I just made it. Um, so I made a pocket here. This is going to be writing space, but these are all different uh, envelopes. Um, just to, I mean, look at the possibilities of the envelopes and the paper that you can use and turn, you know, make different things with you know you can cut the flaps off and just have regular you know just have paper um you can make really cool pockets really neat i mean your imagination will go wild <laughs> okay here is the back pocket i have going on all right so if you notice here is the the back sides that you that holds in this is a i have i'm sure we can decorate this in fact we could probably put pockets on this it won't affect anything but if you notice it's covered on the inside so you can't see it like you did on the on my front ones so you know after you get everything set up then you know what you can cover and not so this one i got it covered and this is it so here is my second uh signature all right and basically this is really thin scrapbook paper okay i do recommend a heavier scrapbook card cardstock that's why you know these are lined so they're a little bit sturdier because you know it needs to be a little stiffer you know to go in so it doesn't wrinkle you know so what helps is that this band is more than half the size of the cover, okay? So it holds it. It's not, you know, falling out or anything. And it's situated toward the back where the spine is, okay? So here's this one. So like the second one, when I, when I start embellishing, like I'll cover this back side, you know, like I did this one. So it's nice and fancy. And then the third journal is right here. Now, and I can keep going. I can add, um, I can add another. In fact, I think I do have, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready to add another one and add a fourth journal. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I did this with, okay. So you can have, you can use whatever paper. Let me just put that. You can use whatever paper. I just thought I am the queen of envelopes. <laughs> I have more envelopes than I know what to do with. And I'm like, I have to do something with these. And I just wanted something a little different. So let me show you. Let's see. Let me see where my... Give me just a second. Let me pull out some of these I have these smaller ones too and there's never ending envelopes I have some um, 
my pen pal Jane sent me some um, some gold ones if I knew what I did with them uh, <laughs> they're somewhere I've been using those gold ones I love those gold ones nope hold on I have to stretch over to my <laughs> Well, I wanted these to go. Oh, well, I guess we're using these. Anyway, you can use a variety of sizes, okay, of envelopes. So let me show you how to make, first of all, one of the, the signatures, okay? So I use six envelopes or six pieces of paper, okay? All I do is get an envelope all right don't glue it shut or anything all you all you're doing is cutting off a sliver on the side and then on the side that's it you're going to use this whole envelope so you're not wasting anything oops and of course I got my weird scissors. Okay, that's it. See the slivers? <laughs> so so they open up. Now, I've been cutting off these flaps because I don't need them. All right, so that's it. That's all you have to do. You want to cut six of them. So one, two, three. And I'm going to do a couple of the big ones, too. Is that the same size? Probably not. No. Any relatively the same size. One. For what I'm, for mine that I'm doing. Hold on. I guess. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay. So, I'm going to show you exactly the way I did it. Because I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like a never-ending, um, a never-ending chain. And I don't have to do a journal cover, you know. I do like journal covers, but, um, it's so nice to be able to pull out a signature and just work on that one. I mean, I guess you can eventually build a, um, a journal cover, an actual hard journal cover for them once you're done. So, let's see. And while I'm cutting these, hopefully you guys found some to cut. And uh, uh, this week has just been a horrible week. We've had the stomach flu going around and then severe migraine on my part. And it, it just knocked me for a loop. I've been sick. And I think that with the weather, it snowed the other day. Don't even get me started. It snowed. All right. Um, not a happy camper on that one <laughs> at all. And then, you know, the weather fluctuates so bad, you know, and our allergies are hitting us. And, you know, we're bouncing from 40, 30 degree weather to 70 to 80 degree weather. It's just... <laughs> it's not a good time <laughs> not a good time at all i did receive some more birthday cards for my son chase um jane i got yours um did some uh, somebody else's came in too um i'm so excited uh, I'm like, yeah, this will be so fun. I'm hoping he'll let me film them. If not, I'll be taking pictures and I will put in, I'll put pictures on the video and on my Instagram so you guys can see um, <laughs> what he does. Um, he's going to be so, he's going to be so surprised. Okay. Now that I have these cut open and I missed one. All right. Here we go. You can arrange them any way you want. I have been, okay, so here is like the flap. So I would hold one this way and then I would turn this way the other way. So they're, you know, opposites. So the flap's this side. So then this one I'll put on this one. 
and I just that's hide it you can also maybe just put the flap in and you know have a big one like that in fact I'll do that here I'll do that a couple times so and then I'll come back with a all right so here is my signature and I forgot to <sighs> I know some of these have addresses on them. Okay, so here's my signature. All right, so I'll leave it just like this. Now, if you had a signature, if you have one where they're all different sizes, you want to go by, of course, the biggest size you have. Okay, and let's just let's just put it out there. All right, so if they're all different sizes, you go by the biggest size you have, and that's what size the cover needs to be for all your journals on for I mean for all your signatures that you're going to plan on you know attaching to this they all have to be the same size insides don't they can be all different sizes but this has to be the same size okay now I have been using um my 12 inch my 12 by 12 you can go smaller um I just had some bigger envelopes so um, if I, I would have, I should have kept the measurements on this. So I knew I didn't even think about that to add, uh, <laughs> more to this one. Um, but I can still do it. I just pull out the previous one so I can remember the size I have going on and, uh, do it that way. This way. basically <laughs> just so I can get it matched up with the rest of them because I'll go ahead and just add this one um, to this chain to this block chain at that I'm calling them journal chains I don't know connect a journal <laughs> would that be a good one <laughs> connect a journal connect the dots I don't know give me a name for these um, Uh, let me straighten this one out just a little. My gold scissors have glue on them. I got to clean them off. So I'm using these crappy scissors. Okay. So this is the same as the rest of them. Okay. So I'll be able to slide this in. All right. But what I do, let me get this. Okay, so you can, because there's not that many, there, it's six sheets. And let me tell you, this is plenty. They add up when you put them together. So what I did was, see these are smaller, but that's okay. Um, you can sew it with a sewing machine. Or I was using my all for these um, because there's really not much to it. So let's see here. You don't need much. And I'll even show you what I mean by how easy these are. Let me get my big old needle out because... All right, so I am just going to estimate where the middle is, hold it firmly, and push, push, push. Okay, that's how quick, that's how quick that was. So I go in the center, oh, and my needle, and it fell out. I knew it because I'm using my big needle. Uh, okay, let's see, let's try this again. All right, I'm going into the center. 
I'm going up to the top hole, I hope. No, Wendy, let's just... <laughs> Top hole, come down to, all the way to the bottom hole, and then back to that center hole. All right. Mm -hmm. Give it a little tug. a couple knots all right I'll leave those because I might add um, some charms all right all right so now you got your papers in okay what I do I don't know I picked out envelopes that had a pre a pre <laughs> address on it. All right. All right, this is the part where I use a heavier cardstock. Okay? It's a cardstock. Um if you use really thin paper, you need to double it up cuz this needs this needs to be a good, you know, pretty sturdy <laughs> what I did was I had this is um this is I think a full 12 inch sheet but it all depends what size your cover is going to be okay so what I do is I lay this out like this so I have room on each end and what I do is I fold this end over first crease it really good okay and you see how close I'm getting to the edge that's how i want it okay now the second side i fold it i leave a slither i mean a slither a pin drop okay and crease it just like that and fold it and now you can glue them down for the sake of this video i am going to i've been using my score tape okay um, and how I've been using my score tape <laughs> because I'm still going to end up covering this back page with more paper to make it, you know, sturdier. Um, but to me, this just locks these into place right away until, um, until you can glue a top layer down. All right, so, and like I said, it's, it's, the cover's going to seem flimsy right now because I'm using thin paper, but I'm going to lay, you know, put a, another layer on it, so it'll be good. So, I'm not right, I'm not in the, um, spine, but I'm close probably a you know a fourth of an inch away from the spine because you still want to have room for it to close and all that good stuff all right so let me take these I take these off Make sure it's straight. Okay. So now you have that on the back side or whatever. So where is my, let me, let me connect it all. So this one, this one don't even have a, um, a pocket on it because it's connecting to this one.
and we'll connect it. Yeah, we can connect it like this. There we go. Now I have four. Four. I have four. Look at that. Even though the last one is miniature papers. <laughs> okay, so that is how quick it was to do this. Okay, now like I said, I will um, come back and cover the fronts and all that good stuff. But I had to show you how these are, you know, how how to do these. You know, there's so many different ways you can rearrange them. So let's just say this one doesn't have a strip on it yet. So, but this one does. So let's make this the next one. All right, so this one has a back one on it. So then I will put this one on because that way, if I want to add another one, I have room, I can put another strip here and add more. So now I have four, four signatures. Look at that, four signatures. Um, this one, these, okay, so let me go in a little bit more detail. These signatures I machine sewed in, okay? These I did a um, three-hole pamphlet stitch, okay? Like I did this, that third one, I did a three-hole pamphlet stitch. And what I did was, here, let me, let me show you kind of what I, um, um, <laughs> Trying to remember <laughs> which way they slide okay so let me show you how i kind of built this one up because this is the out of the flimsy paper so what i did i um stitched where's my center okay so i mis machine stitched it in okay then i came back and I put um, some washi, I put a strip of glue down and then I laid some pretty washi tape on the back. Um, just actually I kind of more did it just for the look of it instead of just <laughs> trying to reinforce it. But, you know, it looks pretty and I think it helps, you know, reinforce these papers. Okay, so that's what I did on the back side. You know, I just added a swath of wash glued i glued down washi tape okay and then on the inside okay so we're we're like working on i was working on the sides because your signature your papers are in um i put down a sheet of scrap paper and it was actually this paper i just you know cut it down to size and glued it on okay and then I came back with a washi tape, the same one, and I stuck it right there along, you know, close as possible to the spine. Um, just, I think it just gives a little extra. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I felt better for doing it. I don't think it's a necessity, but that's what I did. And then I proceeded to add my pocket embellishments for this. Okay. So that is what I did for this one okay so then this was an envelope and I'm like okay so I made this a writing space so I just glued um some coffee dyed paper on it and then I'm like okay so what I'm going to do with this I glued this part of the flap down so this will be a pocket okay so I just left this here so I you know so I can show you guys it was pocket and then I just put a little another little writing space there over here, of course, it needs more embellishments, but I added this as a kind of like a belly side pocket. And, you know, I was making, I was making stuff as I was doing this. So that will go there. And then I'll probably, you know, here's some more areas to do whatever. Add your pockets. I can cut this off 
and do a, and still use it and make a corner pocket cover it with paper you know these could do you could do some really cool things with these you know so or just cut them down the size or actually glue a piece of paper down on it you know a full size and make and turn it into a full size sheet of paper you know so the options are limitless especially if you have a ton of uh, envelopes, <laughs> which I do. And I was just like, I love this idea so much. Um, I kept thinking about it and, um, I finally just did it. I'm like, well, what, what's, what's the worst it can do? All right. So I'll tell you the worst it can do. Um, my prototype. Okay. My prototype, the covers are heavier. Um, but it's, it's crappier scrapbook paper because you ever get the paper that when you fold it, it, it cracks, you know, um, that's what this did. It cracked on me. So I was not having a good time. And then I used the same paper to fold and it cracked on another, on the, um, okay. It tore where it's supposed to slide which i will i will fix this because it's an easy fix with some washi and some glue okay to reinforce that part you know i'll or maybe i'll go over it with a another piece of paper you know glue it down um so you have to be careful on what kind of paper you know if it's gonna crack or split you're gonna have to cover it with another layer you know, I might come back with something like this and just wrap it around the outside like that and glue it down and just reinforce that so it doesn't tear when you're sliding them in and out. That is um, my thought. Um, so this, oh, what am I doing? All right, so that one has a cover I mean a, a pocket so this one will go in right there and the width the reason why the width is so big is because it will hold hold it if it was thinner it would it wouldn't hold the weight of a signature like this okay so you need to have the width these are four inches okay um, so at least over half the size of your cover Okay, so then this back one I have, I don't have a pocket on it yet because I wasn't sure if I was going to add any more to this because this was my prototype, which I'm going to use for a project that started all of this <laughs> in the first place. Um, let me... Let me get it in there. All right. Now, see what I mean more? See, these are all done. After you get them all done, you could build um, a case, you know, a journal cover around it. And you could re, you know, go through the same holes and, you know, put them into a journal cover. It's just, or you could just tie, you know, put a tie around it and be done like this. I mean... How freaking cool! I just love this one. I think I like it because of all the envelopes are different. And it's like having all different kind of papers and stuff. So, you know. And it's just... It's all connected. I mean... How freaking cool is that? So, what started this? <laughs> I needed something for this book okay this is three thousand questions about me and i was going to do a prompt for you guys so we could have you know do journal pages on it well i needed something to journal on or you know to uh, do my art on with this so i made these um same th same thing um these are um These are all the same envelopes because I have a stack of them that are all the same size. 
Okay, and I just used them up because I have a ton of these. Okay, these are from Christmas cards and whatnot that I needed to send out. Um, they were all the same size, so I'm like, what the heck, I'll use these. I used six of them for each signature. Okay, so I just used six envelopes for each one. So what, six, 12, 24? I mean, 18. <laughs> Sorry, 18. So there's 18 total envelopes for these, okay? Six in each one, all right? And then I just, the largest one is the one you square, you know, you square off to make your cover. Now, um, I did completely even. You know, sometimes how we like to do journal cover where we leave enough gap on it, you know, we have a gap. On these, I didn't. I went from edge to edge, you know, but it's all your preference, whatever you want to do. So this is what I put together for me to, to do the prompts on this. So um, next video will be this. Uh, a few of you guys have picked out numbers for me to start with the prompt. Uh, and I wrote them down. I'm going to put them in here. Um, if you got a number you want to tell me, leave me a number and we'll start doing the prompts. And these are 3,000 questions about me. Um, there are random questions that we're going to try to do journaling with or art with or, you know, build a journal with. So this, this is what I'm using for this. <laughs> All right. Hopefully I tried to keep this as quick as possible. Hopefully I didn't, um, confuse y'all. It, it's pretty cool, cut and dry. If you guys want to use paper, use your paper. You know, I just, you know, had these. So, but yeah, if you just want to fold random pages, okay, and whatever the large, you know, the whatever the largest one is, this that's the cover you want to put around it, okay? Um, I just use scrapbook paper with, you know, color to designate a cover, you know? Um... You could use magazines, you can, whatever, you know, this is other scrapbooking paper that I use just to note that this is a cover. And then, you know, of course I have my, all my goodies inside. I can't wait to play with this. I've been I'm like, woohoo, I can't wait. So, um, that, that's all there is to it. I mean, literally that was it. And they hold together so great. See, it's like open. Look at that. You know, it's not like they're coming apart. You can stick them on the shelf. You can wrap a ribbon around it when you're done. How fun would these be? They're almost like a floating journal, a flow, a flow journal, whatever you call those, the flow journals. You know, because I think it's because you can take them apart. So look, I have that done. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Let me know if you're going to do this with me. I thought this would be something different to do. I don't really, I love making my journal uh, journals more than I actually like f working them in myself, art journaling and stuff. Um, I just don't ever go that route a lot because I have my daily planner diary kind of thing. Um, so uh, this is what I'm going to work on and 3000 questions about me or you, or we're going to interpret. <laughs> so that's the next video. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have this one up and running. Um, it might even be a live video at that. I don't know. <laughs> so we'll see. All right. Uh, like subscribe, share, share this video because I will, be so excited to see people doing these, you know, connected journals, connect signatures. What do you guys want to call these? All right. You guys have a good day. Talk to you soon. Bye.